Okay, here we go guys, this is the big one. What is depression? So the long and short answer is um, we're not really sure all the causes of depression. Part of it is biological and part of it is situational. But what we do know is that it affects about 30% of us will go through a feeling of depression or depression in our lifetime. That's a lot of us. And it's interesting because I often have people go through and be like, yeah, I know what it's like to be depressed. I was really sad one time. That is not the same as clinical depression. It's completely different. Really, to be diagnosed with depression, you have to go through a checklist of things to be clinically diagnosed as depressed. It isn't just sad. Um... It's funny because as a therapist, when I was studying in school, and I'm, I'm, um, you may have noticed, I'm really happy all the time, uh, most of the time, not all of the time, but I'm quite a happy person, and that is the way that I am usually, which I guess for some of you can be really annoying. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry if it's true, but that's who I am. And I remember one day um, having a day that it was just a really, really dark day. It was... To me, it was like being in a well, and when I looked at the top of the well, there was no end to the well. And I felt flat, like nothing. I didn't feel sad, I didn't have any motivation. Nothing brought me joy, like nothing fired those neurotransmitters. I remember seeing on the TV a picture of a puppy, and I actually looked at it and I went, like stupid puppy what does it matter right this none of none of this matters and it was this feeling i can't even say hopelessness it was more like desolation and that i was just wrong and it was painful like emotionally pained <clears throat> and i was in school to be a therapist at the time and so i was studying depression and anxiety and even with all of that training, I did not get it. And luckily the next day it just, it was gone. Um, but it, in my field, that was a gift to me. I had a taste, not even a full understanding of a piece of how much further this was than what I had ever expected analytically to look through. And a lot of people come to me when they're dealing with depression and someone says, you know what, just smile, um, think happy thoughts. And, and they're like, yeah, I haven't thought about that already. There, it's not that you've done something wrong to be depressed. It's not a sign of weakness. No one would wake up one morning and be like, flip the switch. I'm just going to want to try to feel horrible today. This is something that happens to us sometimes. And sometimes it can because, be because of a situation, something that's happened in your life. And sometimes it can be through neurotransmitters or genetics or biology or strong negative self-talk, trauma. These things can cause our body at some point to shut down. It is our modern form of hibernation. There's an increased chance of when the days get shorter and we're not going out and not doing as much, that we all go through some dysthymia, which is like a mild depression or depression, seasonal affective disorder. It can happen to us and you can't run away from it. We need to be able to talk about this. And I think that there's been a lot of stigma on being depressed, like there's some, you're damaged or there's something wrong with you, and there's not. We go through this. This is a natural thing that humans sometimes go through, but that doesn't mean that you should stay that way and that you should leave it because there are treatments that can work. Um, we'll go through them together to be able to help you live better, but the first step is to be able to reach out or tell someone or decide that you're going to work on it. And it's hard because, like, sometimes just getting out of bed is more energy than you have. And it's a difficult thing because we're trying to fight against being depressed or our body wants to hibernate. We want to either, some people overeat, some people undereat, some people can sleep, some people cannot sleep at all. So it's hard because the neurotransmitters, the stuff that you used to do that might bring you joy, it's almost like there's a shade of gray that's like all over the place. Everything that you look at is covered by this shade of gray and the things that used to bring you joy don't anymore. And you may wanna shut down from all of those things. The things that we do to get out of depression are the opposite. We're trying to tell our body it's not time to hibernate. And that's probably one of the hardest things to do. 
<laughs> I remember um, my husband saying to me uh, when I was I was just having a down day and I'm laying on the couch and I just wanted to stay laying on the couch. And uh, he does the line, which I hate that he does, which was, uh, you know, what would you say to one of your clients if you were just lying there, like, you know, and feeling cruddy for the whole day? He's like, you would tell them to go out and do this. And, you know, you just want to start the action. But the problem is that you're paying it forward. You start exercising or doing art. Your dopamine system, which is the motivation and that feeling of joy, and your serotonin system, the feeling of, they're slowly shut down. They're waiting till the winter is over and food is plentiful to start up again, they won't bring you the same amount of joy. So you're almost giving a lot of energy that you already don't have to an activity that won't make you feel as good as it can. But if you keep at it, it will. Or talking to someone or journaling or dealing with the negative thoughts. There's a lot of pieces at play, which we'll go through together to be able to figure out to make life better. So don't worry, there is hope. I've helped thousands of people through this. You are not alone. We can do this together and get better and live better. So I'm Georgia Dow, and this was a little bit about what is depression. And hopefully you will join me on my other videos. And if you can, it's a new channel. Please like and subscribe. It really does make a difference. I am looking. And I appreciate it. Um, and comment below on your own piece to the journey or if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much.